but I noticed that my white counterparts never questioned their own competence. They assumed that they belong. Mm -hmm. They always assumed that they belong. And yet, when you begin to look at the actual raw numbers of who gets hired and who doesn't, and we're talking about this, obviously, in sports, over the NFL coaching and how frustrating. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a, a full dissidence moment that NFL coaches are having right now where they're recognizing that no matter how much time we put in and how many how much experience we have, they don't want us. Right. We're not getting the chance. We're not going to get the opportunity. And yet you see all of these other folks get opportunities that they're not getting. And I wanted to talk about this concept of the assumption of competence and, and what that meant and how, how when you're in the business, the competence of your white counterparts, they assume their own. They believe they belong. They know that they're good. And even when they don't get jobs, they, they, they may be upset that they don't get jobs, but they don't, they don't assume that the people that got the job didn't deserve it. They just mm -hmm. didn't get the job. Mm -hmm. Whereas when, when somebody black advances, uh, obviously they didn't deserve what they've gotten. And you're seeing this now with so many lawsuits, especially at the college level at Harvard, all these admissions lawsuits. You're seeing this idea once more that when it comes to African Americans in so many ways, there is this inherent belief that somehow you have not earned what you have. You don't belong and you're constantly fighting to prove that you do. 